Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over a common issue that's seen within AutoCAD when you're inserting blocks with a text field in them and specifically when you want to mirror those blocks. So for example, we're going to come up here, we're going to put this test block in here and then we are going to mirror that block and you'll be able to see that when I mirror it, the text also mirrors. We do not want the text to mirror, we just want the outline of the block to mirror. So in this video, we're gonna go over this. Shouldn't be too long of a lesson. It's a pretty easy fix, so let's get into it. Real quick, before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel. This gives me an accurate gauge of how well the videos are doing. If you find the video helpful, give it a like down below. If you think someone else would find this video helpful, give it a share. And this video specifically is being made because someone left a comment asking me to make a video on this. So if you want to see anything else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comment section below. All right, so we already gave the example of the test version one where we come up here and insert a block and we then try and mirror it and the text also mirrors, which again, that is a, an issue and that's what we are trying to solve here. So we're going to delete this block and the first thing we're going to do before we do anything else is we're going to come down to our command line and we're going to type in mirror TX, T -E -X -T, which is mirror text. We're going to click enter and we want to make sure this is set to zero. It's already set to zero. We're just going to confirm enter and there we go. So before we do anything, that's what we want to do first. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to create a second block now. So we're going to come up here. We're going to come up to the block area of the top command line and we're going to go right here where this little arrow is and click down. We're going to left hand click down and we're going to come over here to define attributes. This creates an attribute definition for storing data in a block. We're going to left click and this is going to come up. This define attribute or this attribute definition box. You can also go down below and type in ATTDEF. That'll get you to the same box. So the reason why your text is mirroring and not staying put is because it's text and not an attribute. We need to create the text as an attribute and this is the way to do it. So the first thing we're going to do here is make sure all of these are not clicked, just the locked position. Then we're going to come over here to tag. So the tag, we're going to say test two, and then we're going to click OK. Now we want to, we can leave the prompt in default blank for right now. We're going to click OK. You can change the text height right here. We're going to keep it where it's at. And as you can see here, test two has come up. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to create the block around it. And you can do these in any specific order, but we are going to come here. We're going to create a square and then we're going to come up and create the block. Now creating a block. I have a video on it. I'll link it up above, but we're going to come up here. We're going to click create. We're going to call this test number two. We're going to click. Okay. We're going to specify the insertion point right there. It doesn't really matter for this example. And then we're going to select all the objects. We've selected them. We're going to click enter and we have created the block. Now we're going to come up here click insert, click the test two block. And as you can see here, when you specify the insertion point, the test two does not come up yet. Now this should pop up this screen, this edit attribute screen. This is where you are going to want to put in what you want to put in the block. We're going to type in test two and click. Okay. Now, as you can see here, test two showed up same with the square or rectangle. And we're going to come over here and we're now going to select all of it and mirror it. And as you can see here, when you mirror this, it mirrors just the rectangle and not the actual test function. So I can mirror it here and then we'll uh, keep the source or erase it. Then I'm going to mirror this again. And as you can see, the test two stays the same. Now, if you did not get that edit attribute box, when you insert the block and we'll do it again. If you do not get this specific box, you are going to need to close, save your drawing or restart your drawing because something might be a little bit messed up or a little bit wrong within your drawing. So the best advice I can give you is close and reopen your drawing. So we can also edit this attribute and maybe change the size of the test to text attribute that you have going on here. Um, I would advise you to try and get that right before you create the block. You want to make sure that it's all right and then you create the block. And I'll show you why here because when we edit this, which you can, 
you're going to come to the block and go to the attribute manager. We're going to left hand click on this little guy right here and say for example we just want to change the size. So we're going to click test 2, edit, and we want to change the size of the text from 12 feet all the way to just 5 feet. We're going to click OK. We're going to click apply. OK. And as you can see here the test 2 text changed its spot. So to now edit this we are going to click edit. We are going to click the test 2 block. We're going to click OK. As you can see here, it is over in this specific corner. We're going to take it and we're just going to slide it up into the middle. We're going to now close the block editor up here. We want to save the changes to test 2. And as you can see, it has not changed yet because it is in the new block. So to insert the new block, we're going to come back up here, click test 2. Again, same thing we just saw, test 2. In the edit attributes, we're going to click OK. And as you can see here, now it is edited to that smaller text. This is why I would highly recommend doing this before you create the block, because editing it can take time and energy that is better served elsewhere. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully it was able to help you with anyone struggling with this. I know I struggled with it personally. This was not an easy task for me to understand at first. Again, you want to create text as an attribute, and a lot of things need to be as attributes within the block itself. So again, really appreciate you guys watching the video. Appreciate all the support, and with that being said, I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.